Welcome to Gord Field here in Detroit Rock City, home of the Motor City Maniacs. And I see the Maniac fans are trying to get the fire wave going, <laughs> but so far just a small number of fires and mostly just on the upper deck. Yeah, they really stepped up security, Grim. In the men's room earlier, I only witnessed three random assaults and two of them were on me. <laughs> Not bad for gang day. Both teams hit the field ready to hit each other in this MFL matchup. The Purple Mutant Eaters go up against the Motor City Maniacs. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. See that boom, baby? I'm the greatest. No, you didn't see that. Hi again, everyone. Grim Blitzrow here, along with the only guy to ever get cut from the league for testing positive for not taking enough steroids or mutant growth hormones, Brickhead Mulligan. Hey, there was a reason for that. I had to quit taking steroids. My nutsack was shrinking, and I sprouted this mini-me on my shoulder. Bricks Jr., freak me out. You're a pussy. And it's first and ten. like an old guy looking for a bathroom. First, and that's a hell of a cheap shot. <laughs> Gotta love it. And it's first and ten. He might have managed to dig out a yard on that one. Not my yard. Got too much buried in, you know, the usual money, bodies, coffee cans filled with, well, uh, you know, mostly coffee. Tastes better, like Eskimos burying salmon heads, kimchi. No matter anything really tastes And the quarterback finds his man for the first down. And it's first and ten. for nine on that play. And that'll bring up second and one. And he's off to the races. Look at that little mutant run. First and ten. And that's how you run the football. A pickup of seven on the play. Grim, why is it that more mentally disturbed clowns don't play football? They'd be good. You know, they're all in politics, apparently. Oh, and that one's going to hurt. He may not be able to comprehend math after that hit. What's math? Exactly. First down and one. No doubt about it, that guy is dead. He says, I'm taking you with me. And the ref just called a bullshit penalty. <laughs> the offense is running low on running backs. They have only two left. They need to conserve those runners now and consider passing more. They're back up here on first. Offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. First down in a mile. Results in an interception. One time when I was playing, a guy hit me so hard, I went in the woods. Look, guys, I'm supposed to be impartial, but this rep is so dirty, he should be where he's most at home, buried in the dirt. <laughs> First.
first down and long. The defense had enough with this rep and jumps on sides to kill him. <laughs> first down and one. Second down and six. Does the QB know which team he's on? I don't even know where I'm at. Oh, and he looks like he just saw 400 scary movies after that hit. Yeah, it sounds like my off season. And it's first and ten. He was stuffed at the line of scrimmage. So is that cheerleader. <laughs> Second down and ten. hit that was and that's how you make a guy remember your name and your shoe size because he just walked all over him he's going to hit him now he almost has <laughs> the home crowd isn't impressed with that showing but their team has a chance to respond First and ten. He's not going down. And like Bricks' bowels, he is loose and heading for the end zone. He could go all the way. The 30. Boom, and he's dead. Oh, bingo, bingo, bingo. I got bingo, Grim. He's at the 20. He's at the 10. Oh, and they got him. That's a touchdown saving tackle. Down of seven. It's about a three yard pickup. And that'll be second down and four. And into the end zone with a burst of speed. I think he's warming down his guy to the speed thing, Grim. He's running from his team. Seriously, man, you think you go toe-to-toe -to -toe with me? You get my grill, I'll ruin your world. Ruin it. I like this. They're going for two. And perfect pass for two points. That's a piece of art right there, Bricks. Yeah, man. You be turned the defense into an abject mess. <laughs> when you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. 
He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path. Oh, with a brutal hit. The burn returner was maimed by the opposing team, so it's up to the next man to replace him. Yeah, what exactly is a burn returner, Grim? You know, players who catch kickoffs and punts and run them back through the teeth of the defense. They had the lowest survivability rate of any player in the league. The next man up just sat back down on the bench. He probably grabbed his pants. First down and nine. That, my friends, was an all-pro NFL hit. Oh. Okay. soft balls, but the defense, they're playing with big balls and just crushed his balls. That's a lot of balls, Grim. Third and four. If you don't think you can make the interception, batting it down is the next best thing. Great advice, Grim. That receiver's gonna go far in this league if he listens to you. I wasn't talking to... Yeah, never mind. Yes, Brick, he will. The defense ball a touchdown! Oh, he ran through those defenders like a greased turkey. Actually, he does have some turkeys getting wrapped on his backside from that bad burn he had last year. <laughs> for pussies, Bricks. They're going for two. Yeah, they got big balls, Grim. Yeah, bigger than yours. Two-point plays are high-risk, high-reward, and it just didn't pay off. And now they're both screwed and stupid. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Yeah, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. Ooh, hope he's got a good chiropractor. First and ten. And that's a catch for a four-yard gain. Second down and six. First and ten. That's the end of quarter one. Well, the good news is there's still time to make it a game. And there's still time to get a beer. And it's first and ten. <laughs> Boom to the moon. Another loser bites the dust. And the NFL winning is really about how much you want it, Bricks. Well, he clearly as much as the other guy. Yeah, that's a good point, Grim. The offense is down to their last running back. If they lose him, they lose all their running plays. And it's first and ten.
first and ten. Second down and more than the QB would like. Ooh, that hit's going to shave a few days off his life. Third down and, well, good luck. an incomplete pass. Looks like the defense got away with that one there. Uh, they love to grab the receiver like that. He could get hurt. Boring, but smart. Time to punt. Whoa, whoa, you can't say that on the radio. Nice punt. Should move them back nicely. Nice catch, and he turns on the end. And he sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well-placed cleat. And it's first and ten. And that player just transformed in kaboom! And the quarterback unleashes a sonic blast to get... Oh, and he fumbles the ball on that hit! When you hurdle and get hit, chances for a fumble increase. He's at the 10! He scores! He earned those points on the heels of an epic run! Ah, don't call things epic, friend. Kids aren't gonna think you're cool no matter what you do. Junior, I don't want kids to think I'm cool. Kick it. In that order, Grim? The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kick off into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five. <laughs> First and ten. And he stayed with the receiver and deflected the ball. The ref calls a penalty. You know, the NFL has eliminated almost every penalty in the rule book, and yet it still feels like there's way too many penalties. Still by charge. You guys suck. Yeah. And it's first and ten. Stepping up their game, Bricks. He just stepped up and blew up. <laughs> He's got a lot of guts, doesn't he? And you can see the grounds crew cleaning him up now. Hot potato gets him every time. And it's first and ten. When deep roid rage ignites that deep down violent rage and makes you unstoppable. He broke free and has open field in front of him. But boom! And like the Titanic, his ship just went down. Hey, hey, I almost got Mutant bingo! All we need is 77 to bite it! He's at the 40. Oh, the unstoppable force meets the explodable object! First and ten. And I'll say this, the offense is putting together a hell of a drive here. And it's first and ten. Second down in 
a very lot. And he was stuck to him like glue. Third down and long. Send a message with that hit. Yeah, the message was you can't kill the messenger because he's going to kill you. But then he won't be able to read the message because the messenger killed him. Ah, uh, going in circles. And the offense has only two running backs left, and the defense is licking their lips. Uh, I think they want to hit those last two runners for this hot win. And it's first and ten. Geez, you give this guy a bigger paycheck than everybody else combined, you'd expect... Oh, nice hit! Oh, man, he just went off the rails of a crazy train and murdered that guy! Gotta love it! He should bite his head off for an encore, Grim! First and ten. And change those leaves. Oh man, Bricks, you gotta love a player who goes down fighting. The offense has no running backs left, so this becomes a passing only offense. They can run their QB into the defense that's feasting on runners. <laughs> Sounds like a good plan, moron. Hey, watch it! Hey, Bricks, they're going for two here. move at this point of the game. I won't listen to this blasphemy! And he finds open spaces running toward the end zone! Turn on your jet, you son of a bitch! They're going for two points. And he runs it in for an easy two points. The momentum in this game may be shifting. Oh, those are just my balls. Hey, thanks for sharing, Briggs. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. Oh, look at this guy break tackles. He takes a lick and it keeps on ticking. Time to speed things up. 
The offense goes into a two-minute drill. The quarterback pass. Second down. The quarterback calls a timeout to stop the clock. They have two left. Second down, and we've got to pick up at least half of this. And the back gets in there and swats the ball away. He can't catch, but he sure can swat. Third down and forever. And that's another turnover for the defense. Oh, man, he just laid the wood on that guy. Yeah, if you're going to hit a guy that hard, you should at least kill him. Do him a favor. Finish him. The second quarter comes to a close as the teams head for the locker room, and we take you to halftime. Brought to you by Monsatan Industries. We make genetically engineered food that is to die for. It's the start of the third quarter, and we are set to go, Bricks. Oh, boy! Where we going, Rim? A carnival? Huh? I'm going to go to a strip show. Where we going? Read it. Why don't you settle down? Just pet your rabbit, Lenny. Just pet your rabbit. Hey, man. He's going to get him now. You know what happened? <laughs> Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. Pow with the brain scrambler. Second down and nine. Boom, dead and down. He delivered the freaky fast ham sandwich with extra mustard for the death blow. Speaking of ham sandwiches, I'm gonna go grab one. You want anything? No, yeah, still working on my salami here, Bricks. Thanks. That's what she said. Ah, they worked that time. It was close, though. Oh. Yep. Oh, my God. I can't <laughs> The offense has no running backs left, so they will lose all running plays in their playbook. And it's first and ten. You can't keep a good mutant down. Rumbling and stumbling. He could go. Oh, man. His neck vertebrae just got crunched. Sounded like a gorilla sitting on a bag of potato chips. As they say at the deli, who's next? Oh, uh, uh, can I get a Swiss on rye with uh, no mustard? And it's first and ten. Oh, and that's how you play defense. Well, of course, he, he could have had an interception, returned it for a touchdown, and changed the entire game, but I don't want to nitpick. I do. The guy should have fucking caught it. Second down and ten. And the quarterback throws another pick. He should have eaten his sleeties this morning. Oh, that was a big hit. Hey, Bricks, I'll bet you took a lot of shots like that over your career. Let's see. About a quarter after three, Grim. But my watch is a bit slow. And it's first and ten. Oh, great play by the defense. The receiver didn't stand a chance.
second down and ten. And with another pick, the QB says, I don't almost throw interceptions, but when I do, it's when the game is on the line. Oh, with the brain scrambler. First and ten. Oh, and he might have just saved a touchdown on that deflection. Second down and ten. He could go all the way. They're gaining on him. Hey, come on, move your ass. I got a saw buck riding on this asshole. The ref that just called that penalty, he was convicted of marrying old ladies and stealing their savings. Yeah, that sounds like a good job. He's right at home here taking money from coaches, players, and fans. I even saw him swiping the money from the bathroom attendant. Yeah, who don't do that? First down and three. The defender says, I don't think so. Second and three. Oh, the defender almost picked off the ball on that one. Third down and three. Great catch, and that's a touchdown! Touchdown! <laughs> Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. Straight through the uprights. Looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. Ah! And it's first and ten. And another interception. This quarterback is going to listen to Joy. And he's off to the races. Holy mother of mutant mayhem, he scored! Remember that movie Alien from like a hundred years ago? His great great grand popping was that cute little alien that popped out of that guy's stomach. Yeah, he ended up marrying some sitcom star, if I remember right. Yeah, ate her at the wedding dinner after popping out of the cake. Good memory, Grim. Now, there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They just be... The kick is good! And as expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. They need a good return here to set up the offense. And that's a returnable ball. Returnable? You mean he can get a refund for it? No, no, Bricks. It, it means he can return it for... You know what? Never mind. First and ten. That pass was way off target, but I'm pretty sure the QB will blame the receiver as he always does. Second down and ten. I hope you covered your ears, Brick, because that was a sonic blast. Oh, and he breaks free and has nothing but open field in front of him. He's at the 10. Touchdown! And if you don't understand why refs are hated even more than kickers, <laughs> well, there's your answer, Brick. Second down 
in a lock. And they've had enough. The offense jumps on sides and attacks the ref. Second down in a mile. If there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. He's going to have the IQ of a rutabaga after that hit. Third down and never going to happen. He could go all the way. He's hit the 40. He might catch him. Oh, you fat little mutant. Bam! Say goodnight to that guy, Bricks. Ah, uh, goodnight to that guy, Bricks. You're an idiot. Oh, so close, but not today. And it's first and ten. His cleats are caked in blood and guts, and he's looking to score. Boom, dead and down. He just sent a message with that hit. Yeah, the message was you can't kill the messenger, because he's going to kill you. But then he won't be able to read the message, because the messenger killed him. Ah, uh, going in circles. And it's first and ten. Excuses for this QB. You just, you just throw, and he's off to the races. Look at that little mutant run. Uh, I don't think you can. Oh no, that was totally unnecessary. <laughs> I gotta see that one again. It was also freaking awesome. I hope they have raincoats in the front row because that was splattering everywhere. And it's first and ten. <laughs> and he's running like a, and he held on to that one for a first down. First and ten. And that's the kind of play you pay the secondary for. You pay it for the big six. For this, you just give them a pat on the head and tell them they don't suck. Second down and ten. And the defense gets another pick. Man, rough. Oh, and he just left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaurs. Must be opposite day because he's the one who just got wiped out. And it's first and ten. Looks like the defense called the ginormous dirty trick. It's a whole lot of player. And the quarterback drills one in for the first down. And it's first and ten. with multiple interceptions. The and that was a bone crusher right there, folks. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Receiver like glue. You know, when I was little, my dad used to make me eat glue. My tongue would get stuck to the roof of my mouth, and I couldn't talk. Your father was a very smart man, Bricks. Very smart. And there's another pick. If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. First and ten. Oh, and that's how you play defense. 
Of course, he, he could have had an interception, returned it for a touchdown and changed the entire game, but I don't want to nitpick. Second down and 10. And he was steering a pick six, but dropped the interception. And it plays a defense, schmuck. Third down and 10. Whose eyes the QB is using. Oh, great tackle! When his brain is unscrambled, he'll be thinking about that hit. Yeah, most likely in a convalescent home. And it's first and ten. And the quarterback throws another pick. He should have eaten his sleeties this morning. Oh, it's a brutal hit. Hey, okay, no bad kill. Come on, I'm done. Yep, get on, I got to get on up. Get up. That's the end of the third quarter. And look, folks, I'll be honest, I don't see a chance in hell here. It might be time to change the channel. I think Heidi's playing on Superstation WKRP. And the quarterback signals for a hurry-up offense. Hey, Ben, what the hurry-up offense? There's no huddle. The offense calls plays at the line of scrimmage, and he's rumbling and stumbling. He could go off. No doubt about it. That guy is dead. He says, I'm taking you with me. And the defense, he could go off. Yeah, and never mind. First and ten. You know this oh, man, he really wants it. And he stayed with the receiver and deflected the ball. Second down and ten. And like Bricks' balls, he is loose and heading for the end zone. He could go all the way. Oh, and you can bury that guy because he is dead. Oh, did you see what number he was? I gotta check it off my dead mutant bingo card. I only need one more. <laughs> the offense lost another quarterback on the previous play and have only two left before they have to forfeit. Yeah, but on the bright side, win. they save a ton of money by not having to pay those guys anymore. I don't think the funeral expenses that is. First and ten. Does the QB know which team he's on? I don't even know where I'm at. Ooh, that hit's gonna shave a few days off his life. wants to speed things up, so it signals a hurry-up. Uh, same as Brits' ex-girlfriend signaled when they were doing it. Yeah, she called it rabbit six. And a hard run there picks up the first down. Oh, you knew you were going to see a lot of carnage today, folks. These teams have bad blood between them. Apparently, they got it from the same blood mobile that usually parks outside next to the taco truck. Raccoon rabies blood is my thought. Always a player's favorite. And the quarterback goes into a hurry-up offense and calls all the plays from the line of scrimmage from here on out. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path, and the body toll continues to climb. And there's a first down from a great catch. What? Oh, holy Montezuma's revenge. That's a crap your pants and die tackle. Oh, that Montezuma was very vengeful, wasn't he, Briggs? Wonder what made him so mad. Yeah, it was probably all the diarrhea. Yeah, you're probably right. Yeah, they probably ran out of toilet paper when he was in some all-inclusive resort, and he just got so mad and cursed anyone who came to Mexico forever to crap their pants. Huh. Sounds like he didn't really think it through, because, you know, he should have made it specifically for the owners of the inclusives, but they're not the guests. What the fuck are you talking about? I don't really know right now. What day is it? Oh, and he breaks 
Brand has nothing but open field in front of him. Oh, and the fans really loving his dancing out there, but they need to be careful. One drop of blood gets out, and they can kiss their skin goodbye. Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. Goes right through. Yeah, like a double stop burrito from Taco Hell. The onside kick is a desperation play, but it's their only chance at this point to steal a possession. Steal it ain't right, Grim. It just ain't right. Perfect kick and recovery by the kicking team. And it's first and ten. Sticky ball, dirty trick. The only thing that QB can do now is run for his life. Or die. Second down and ain't gonna happen, partner. He broke free and has open field in front of him. And they line up for the extra point. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. He sets up for the return. Let's see if he can break one wide open. Oh, and that's when it feels like to have your teeth removed without Novocaine. If I had all my teeth knocked out like that, I'd have them made at the dice, Grim. It'd be fun to gamble with my own teeth. Roid rage, because if you can't answer your question with violence, he was stuffed at the line of scrimmage. Cheap shot. That's why we love the MFL. The offense is down to their last two receivers. Once they're gone, it's game over, baby. Ah, those poor receivers. They're really getting a snot kicked on them. Someone ought to just shoot them, put them out of their misery. Uh, don't worry, that's coming. And it's first and ten. And he's off to the races. He's in the 20, the 10. Touchdown! And he rumbles that one in the end zone. Nicely done. I can't run like that unless it's Cooper night in Taco Hell. He has better footwork now than me. I'm kind of not clenching his cheeks, though. Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. Running toward the end zone. Turn on your jet, yes. He just put that guy out of his misery and 
says, who's next? He's at the 30. That's a big gain run on that. The burn returner was killed on that play. The coach will replace him with another player. First and ten. Perfect pass and a score! You know, in alien culture, dancing is a form of battle. And they celebrated their best citizens by making too many moves about them. It's a fascinating culture. comes the extra point attempt. Straight through the uprights. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. First and ten. And the defense gets another pick. Man, rough day. If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. With the vicious kill. Did you know light hits are one of the leading causes of death for mutants over 25? I didn't know that. Yeah, right below attending bachelor parties and owning a Sam Schwong Galaxy phone. And it's first and ten. here or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room it goes right through yeah like a double stuff burrito from taco hell here comes the kickoff let's see if the defense can hold them they're going to be able to return this one Unstoppable force meets the explodable object. He's rumbling and stumbling. He could go all the way. The burn returner was maimed by the opposing team, so it's up to the next man to replace him. Yeah, what exactly is a burn returner, Grim? You now, players who catch kickoffs and punts and run them back through the teeth of the defense. They have the lowest survivability rate of any player in the league. The next man up just sat back down on the bench. He probably grabbed his pants. And it's first and ten. This guy's going to get mugged in the locker room by his team after the game. Second down and ten. Foot putt. You miss two foot putts all the time, Grim. It's good. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a bra in my bed. It was a chip wearing a wig. 
It's first and ten. And that is caught for a first down. Under two minutes, a timeout means the QB is playing beat the clock, and he better win. And it's first and ten. and he's looking to score. I know I said never hit a man when he's down. It's just plain lazy. Nice extra effort there. They've got one more timeout left, but they've stopped the clock. Why don't they just take the batteries out of the clock, Grim? That would make more sense. And it's first and ten. just got crunched. Sounded like a gorilla sitting on a bag of potato chips. As they say at the deli, who's next? Uh, uh, can I get a Swiss on rye with uh, no mustard? There are no more receivers, so it's game over next time the offense takes the field. If the other team punts, that's the game, right, Finn? That's right, Bricks. And it's first and ten. The quarterback goes down. Zoom on his face. I want to see if he's crying. No more timeouts for the defense. Or the offense, Bricks. That's, that's the important part. Second down in a very lot. And that's a sack. The quarterback has to get rid of the ball there. Third down and the QB is saying his prayers. deliver a bloody win for the Motor City. That was one hell of a slugfest. That was worth the price of admission, right, guys? Well, I paid for admission. I expect girls dancing on a pole or something. Girls, we have a lap dance. You don't even have a lap, you little freakazoid. Follow me. Let's see what the MVP has to say about today's outcome. Say what? Come on, man. You can't hang with me. You get my grill, I'm going to ruin your world. You understand me? Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. and all the folks at Evil SN want to thank you for watching this presentation of the Mutant Football League.